Woolworths got themselves into a lot of trouble. They are extracting themselves. They've made some good decisions, we think, about um, getting out of masters. Um, they are viewing everything outside of, I guess, food and liquor as non-core now. And all of the focus is on food and liquor, where we think the greatest strength in that business is. So what has that done to the share price? It, it's at, it's at five-year lows. Um, the stock is under enormous pressure. It's, it's hated by the market, but it's at the lowest valuation that we've seen it. And we've not been a long-term investor in, in Woolworths for all of the, the reasons why the share price is currently down. But what we're seeing today is some really good signs, really good decision-making within that businesses, that within that business um, around the future direction. So we think the focus is in the right place. The balance sheet is robust. Um, the cash flows will come out and the market doesn't believe that the value of those assets anymore. So, you know, if we're looking across all of the sell side research that's out there, there's only um, one or two analysts with a buy out of about 15. Um, we really are against the herd here. Um, but if, you know, if we're looking across the landscape of great industry structures and strong assets, that, that falls into the case. Often the difference between our view and perhaps the market's view is a timing difference. So if you, if you can extend your investment time horizon out, that gives you a real competitive advantage. If we can ignore, say, with a stock like Graincorp, if, if we can not, not ignore, but perhaps look through a, a bad grain cycle, you know, the stock trades with grain volumes and weather patterns. Um, our view is that it's a great, a great um, asset base. So you know they have they have all the upcountry intelligence about what the grain cycle looks like, how much proteins in the wheat, how much moisture is in the wheat. They know the quality, they know the quality of the product coming through to port. That is an enormous asset, and I know the global grain trading businesses think that is an enormous asset, and that's why we invest in the company. That's why we're one of the biggest shareholders there. They've got a they've got a you can buy that company now at almost at asset backing of hard assets. Um, they've got a great you know. I guess, intellectual property in what they know about the, the flow of grain and the quality of that grain. Um, our investment time horizon is longer. And I think that provides an opportunity whilst the market's focusing on the next season and trying to predict the weather, um, we look at the assets and we look at the management and they're a very conservative bunch and the company's got a good balance sheet. So, um, and we look at the things that, that can change all of that. You know, ADM's on the register with 25%. The Australian dollar is off 30% from where they bought that stake. It is now a much cheaper investment for someone offshore. Um, so we look at the attractiveness of assets and try and look through and perhaps have a different time horizon than, than other investors. And sure, that means you've got to carry something in the short term. But um, you know, I think for our our clients, then that's where that's where you know there's gains to be made.